Ladies and gentlemen. Roll the camera. Okay. okay. Kia ora. Welcome to Kaipra Uncovered. I'm really lonely. And I'm feeling myself. Today on Kaipra Uncovered we have I have a story outside the courthouse with Peter Piper. Local politician was claiming persecution over a peck of pickled peppers. And Hollywood has found a star wandering our streets. Who could that be? And are they interested in me? But first up, a story from the shores of Kaipra Harbour. The Swiss family Robinsons have been found living a life of self-sufficiency, munching out a local kite while sheltering from the harsh weather that sweeps across the shallow estuary. But is this family somehow connected to the family featured in Johan David Wyss's 1812 novel? Could this fa family have been based on the legendary family bound for Port Jackson, Australia, who in the novel was shipwrecked in the West Indies, actually have ended up in Aotearoa? Let's go to our reporter on the scene, Gunnar find out and see what she has uncovered. Gunnar? Hello, I'm going to find out, and I'm here on the Kaipra Harbour with Elizabeth Robinson and her eldest child, Amental. But there does seem to be some confusion with this story. Elizabeth, you're not related to the Shipwreck Robinsons, are you? No, Gunnar. We are related to the Swiss cheese family, Robinson. My boy Amental and I have been hiding out here ever since fondue became a popular party food again. It can be very dangerous for me and my family. So many people chasing after us with their fondue sticks. Oh, so you are here in fear of your lives then? Yes. People can be so cruel. And with the exorbitant price of cheese catching us would be very profitable. Dare I ask, where is Mr Robinson? We would not like to talk about that. Suffice to say, he is no longer with us. It is too painful to say the whole story. Holy cheese! Are you telling... Pardon my language. Are you telling me that there's been a serious crime perpetrated against your family? just because you're made of cheese. We will never know the whole truth. We were on the harbour having a great time, melting in the hot summer sun, and then it happened. Police have grilled everybody who was involved. But, with the body consumed and the lack of evidence, there could be no charges laid. We miss them terribly, but no matter which way you slice it, we have to learn to look out for ourselves. Well, there you have it, really, and fuller. Not the story we came looking for, but instead we discover persecution and cover-ups of a minority group right here in our own midst. I'm going to sink my teeth into this story, and I'll be bringing the facts for our viewers as soon as I, as soon as I can fill in the holes. Thank you, Gunnar. That's going to be very interesting. And follow up. We can't wait. And now for something completely different. We are going to throw to Ivor Story, who is outside the courtrooms with Peter Piper, who is about to go on trial for the theft of a pack of pickled peppers. Peter, a well-known local politician, has his reputation on the line. He claims that he legitimately picked a pack of pickled peppers from his neighbour's yard, but the neighbour has a different version of events. We, Ivor, what have you uncovered? You are... Oh. Thanks, Fuller. I'm Ivor Story, and I'm asking, did Peter Piper pick a pack of pickled peppers, or did he nick a pack of pickled peppers? Either way, where is the pack of pickled peppers that Peter Piper picked? Peter, is this a case of picked or nicked? And where is the evidence? Well, Ivor, my wife Pippa put the pack of pickled peppers in a prize pumpkin puree, and we fed the rest to the guests at our political party presentation. So the evidence is all gone, Ivor. You are claiming this accusation is false? So what motive do you think your neighbours have for making such a slanderous claim? That you nicked the pickle pickle peppers, not picked the pickle pickle peppers. 
However, my lawyers asked me to make no comment on this before the trial. But I think I could say that this is less about the pickle pickle peepers than it is about the perceived persecution of the Ponzi Puru that poops on Pippa's precious petunias. And with you today is Constable Clive, who captured you on the run. Gave you a bit of workout, didn't he, Clive? Yes, Ivor. Round the rug of rocks, the rascal ran. Thought I was going to have a heart attack. And does it sound like the actions of an innocent man? I don't think so, Ivor. All evident points to point up. Uh, all evident points to Peter Piper nicking the pickled peppers. There you go, Fuller. Will Peter Piper avoid prosecution, or will the people put this politician in prison? Finally, our entertainment reporter, Hollywood, has found the star of the hit production, Gumshoe, right here on the streets of Wellington. Gumshoe had a short run in Cal Copper Copper in September, and since then, this star has been fighting off star-crazed fans while trying just to get on with life. Holly, who have you got there? Thanks, really. I'm Holly Wood, and I'm here with the only character to play herself in the Cow Copper Copper production, Gumshoe. No character was brave enough to play her part in case she thought their performance was so bad she'd have to deal with them. I'm here with the lovely yet terrifying Svetlana Bombizaro. Svetlana, what brings a criminal mastermind, such as yourself, to the Wellington City? Ah, Holly, that would be telling. But we all know I'm always looking out for a smart man. And the man who is Prime Minister must be smart, yes? I'm sure that my henchwoman a more than match for the security team of the Mr. Jean Key. Already I tell too much. So you're here on business, Svetlana. Do you plan to find time for Arna? Yes, Holly. I'm here first and foremost to crush and destroy the beehive. But I do hope to find time to visit those playful monkeys at the zoo. Hmm. And finally, Svetlana, have you f seen any of the other cast members since the production wrapped up? Sadly, no, either. It would seem continuing a friendship with a full-time mastermind committed to overtaking the world is not so appealing to the average actor. I did hope that that hunky professor would return my text, but instead he has slapped a restraining order on me. I cannot go within 50 feet of him. It is a lonely life, that of a genius criminal. Thanks for your time, Svetlana, and we wish you luck with your plans for Wellington. Now over to our weather presenters, Rain and Bo, with the weather update. Thank you, Holly. Well, starting in the north, the sun shines on Kai Tire as usual. In Auckland, morning sun but rain in the afternoon. In Coromandel, the Bay of Plenty, light cloud of 18 degrees. In Hamilton, rain keeps you high to 14 degrees. Rotorua and Taupo, thunderstorms and t chilly temperatures. Napier, Hastings, a sunny day at 26 degrees. In New Plymouth, an overnight low of minus 4 degrees brings fresh snow and a beautiful day. From Whanganui to Palmerston North, cloudy warm temperatures. In the capital, head to the beach enjoy your, and enjoy a sunny high of 28 degrees. Over the Cook Strait, Nelson tops highs with 31 degrees. Showers in Kaikoura break midday, so leave your whale watching till the afternoon. In Christchurch, light cloud with light snow. In Ashburton, clear sunny skies take you to 24 degrees, but dark, angry skies bring heavy rain to the west coast. Further south, thunderstorms spread inland towards Queenstown, where a chilly 8 degrees brings fresh snow. A sunny day follows snow in Dunedin, 18 is your high. And finally, cold temperatures bring snow to Invercargill and hail to Stewart Island. That's all for now. Good night New Zealand, catch you tomorrow. Back to the news desk with Really and Fuller. Thanks Rain and Bo. 
Well, it's been an interesting day for us all at Kuiper Uncovered. I've been thinking, maybe Hollywood could suggest Svetlana kidnap the Robinsons and Peter Piper. Cheese and pickles, a good combination. Could be some money in that. Really? You'll get into trouble with comments like that. I'm feeling myself. And I'm still really lonely. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you again next time from the whole team of Kuiper Uncovered. Bye! In a horror. Ladies and gentlemen. Roll the camera. Okay. 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 Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we have featured an interview with a very peculiar looking gentleman. Scene one, take one. Take two.